to the eighth episode in which we've been looking at the 2020 GCE Mathematics Paper 1. So in the first seven episodes, we've looked at question 1 through 17. So in this episode, we are starting with question 18. And 18 leads, the diagram below shows a right angled triangle PQR given that PQR is equal to 15 centimeter and cos x degree equals 2 over 3 calculate the length of QR so the fact that this triangle has got uh, a light angle is a light angle triangle it means we can use Sokatoa and from what we've been given is we've been given cos uh, x so in this case, uh, if we uh, just zoom in, what you notice here is from Sokatoa, uh, cos so cos is given by so cos is given by uh, so cos theta is given by basically uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. So in this case, hypotenuse is the longest side that we've been given, which is the 15 centimeter. Then adjacent is where the angle is meeting hypotenuse. So this side and we have the opposite angle here which is the opposite side but the adjacent is where the angle is seated. So in this case knowing that we know that uh, this cos which is cos x is basically 2 over uh, 3 and this is hypotenuse and this is adjacent. So to find that what we know is basically we should have so we have basically cos theta is cos x which is 2 over 3 is equal to adjacent is the qr we are looking for so we shall call it x then over what is hypotenuse is 15 so basically we cross multiply so what we get at the end of the day is 15 times 2 is 13 then equals to 3 times x so 3x so we divide by 3 we divide by 3 so uh, 3 into 30 is 10. 3 into 3x is x. So we have x is basically equal to uh, 10. So in this case, uh, QR is equal to 10 centimeter. So let us move to part B. So part B, a straight line. So a straight line L as equation 3y equals to 5x minus 6. Find the y coordinate of the point where L cuts the x-axis. So when you say L cuts the x-axis, uh, x we have the Cartesian plane like this is x, this is y. So the x-axis is see, this line. So if x is cutting this line, what it means is along this line, y is cutting, or this one, or line, this, at this point, any point along the y-axis is x is equal to zero. So what you do is we get this function, we write it though it is 3y equals 5x minus 6. Then we make y a subject formula by dividing. We divide, we divide. So y is equal to basically 5 over 3x minus 2. So now at the point where x cuts the y-axis, at the point where the curve cuts the y-axis, x is equal to 0. So in this case, y is equal to, so whatever there is x, we put a 0 minus 2. So anything times a 0 is a 0. So we have basically y is equal to negative 2. So the question is asking us to find the coordinate. So the y coordinate. What's the y coordinate? You see y is equal to negative 2. Okay, remember the first one we found the 10. So basically this is how you get the 4 marks on question 18. Alright, so let us move to question 19. So question 19 A reads. Rectangle A, B, C, D and D, A, E, F are geometrically similar given that A equal 10 cm and A, D is equal to 4 cm. Calculate the area of rectangle D, A, E, F. So what this implies is uh, we have a smaller shape in this case. This smaller shape is a, a rectangle. Let me draw it this side. So what it means is here we have A, which is this side, then D, the longer side, then we have E, this side, then we have F, this side. So the longer side of a smaller one is 4 centimeter, which is this side. Then we have that. Then 
we are being asked to find the area of a smaller one so we don't know this side x so the the quickest way you can answer this is to use the principle of the ratios of sides of two shapes that are geometrically similar to the areas so if you have two sides a smaller one is a to b these are the ratios then the ratio of their areas of these two shapes that are geometrically similar is you square the sides a square to b square so in this case we know that the longest side which is the length of a smaller shape which is this one is 4 then of a, a larger one is 10 which is the one which is upscaled then we divide by 2 to get this the uh, lowest term of this ratio is 2 to 5 then what it means is the ratio of the areas of these two is basically a 2 square to 5 square which is basically equal to basically in this case uh, 4 to 25 so 4 to 25 so we can use that so we can find the area of the larger shape because we've been given all the sides you know we've been given all the sides of the larger one the length and the, the breadth so what we do is area is given by length multiplied by breadth so what we get is basically 10 multiplied by uh, 4 what we get is 40 centimeter square as in area so now we can use this fact to say if 25 is equal to basically 40 centimeter square then centimeter square then 4 would be equal to x centimeter square remember these centimeters will cancel as we do division so we end up with basically uh, 25 x equals basically 4 times 40 or 40 times 4 then to find x we divide by 25 we divide by 25 so we end up with x is equal to 5 into 25 is a 5 over 5 into 40 is 8 8 times 4 is 32 5 into uh, 30 is 6 remainder 2 or 6 5 into 32 is 6 remainder 2 5 into 2 is basically uh, 0 0.4 so we have 6 plus 0 0.4 which is a 6.4 this is 6.4 centimeter square as our answer so that's the answer for part a let's move to part b so part b leads mrs Colomba bought 120 shares at a nominal value of 40 kwasha each which she later sold at 40.25 kwasha each find a profit so the nominal value is the actual price or the face value of the the share so to find the profit so the profit will be basically equal to the revenue minus cost so which is the same as also the price minus the cost per share then multiply by how many we buy which is the quantity okay so in this case we are buying at 40 then we are selling at a 40.5 so the difference is the profit pay per share then multiply by 120 the number of shares that we've bought so we have basically 2.5 the difference 40 2.5 minus 40 uh multiply by uh, 120 when you multiply this we'll end up with basically 300 kwacha so 300 kwacha is the profit that uh she made so basically this is how you answer question 19.